So, next question that we are going to discuss is question number 83. Now, in this as you see which of the following statements is not correct. So, that means we have to choose the statement which is incorrect. The pro insulin has an extra peptide called the C peptide that is right. Pro insulin is the inactive form of insulin which is formed first and then it is converted into insulin by removal of the C peptide. The functional insulin has A and B chains linked together by hydrogen bonds. Now, this is wrong because it is not hydrogen rather here there are disulfide bonds. So, this would be the incorrect one, but let us see the other two as well genetically engineered insulin that is humulin which the Eli Lilly company had prepared that was produced in E. coli that is right. In man insulin is synthesized as a pro insulin that is right that is the inactive form and many of the hormones are secreted as pro hormones and insulin is also one of them. So, here our correct answer is of course, the second one because the type of bond mentioned is incorrect. So, option 2 is our answer right. So, moving on to the next question that would be question number 84. Flippers of penguin and dolphin are examples of. Now, this is a classic question where penguin you know is a bird and dolphin of course, is mammal and both of them have evolved unrelated to each other, but they are having similar phenotypes that means they have been subjected to same type of selection pressures. And when such a thing happens in organisms of different lineages, this is called convergence or the convergent evolution. So, in this case our correct answer is convergent evolution that is option 1 this is the correct answer right. So, from here now we can move on to our next question, question 85 which of the following refer to correct examples of organisms which have evolved due to changes in environment brought about by anthropogenic action. Now, anthropogenic action would be action due to human activity. Now, Darwin's finches of Galapagos Islands, now here humans had nothing to do. So, this is absolutely not to be considered. Herbicide resistant weeds, now this is right because we have been using so many chemicals you see and out of that some weeds that get killed while some of them have a mutation due to which they are able to resist those chemicals and they survive. Drug resistant eukaryotes the same thing and man created breeds of domesticated animals like dogs, humans have generated number of breeds by uh, mating experiments and so on and creating certain conditions where a type of breed would be more successful than the other. So, you see B, C, D are all of them the ones which are due to anthropogenic action. So, here we can see that is in the choice 2 and this gives us the correct answer as 2. So, with this we can move on to our next question. This is question 86. Identify the wrong statements with reference to transport of oxygen. Now, partial pressure of CO2 can interfere with O2 binding with hemoglobin. Now, that is true because if CO2 is higher then it will be competing and it will be binding with hemoglobin. Higher H ion concentration in alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Now, this is incorrect rather oxyhemoglobin is easily releasing H ions. Low PCO2 in alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So, that is correct and binding of oxygen with hemoglobin is mainly related to partial pressure of oxygen that is right. That is the reason you see when we go on higher altitudes we have uh, breathing distress because the partial pressure of oxygen is low over there. So, in this case our choice which is incorrect relating to transport of oxygen that is the second one and this would be our correct answer. 
So from here, let us move on to the next question.